Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. It's the Nigerian Pro League Season 7. It is the Amatan Split Playoffs. And we are about to hop into the first game of Day 5. Tomorrow is going to be the last day. And we're going to get the top 17 teams that will be advancing into the league phases where the competition is about to get that much more hectic. And uh, we're going to know exactly how much... Uh, of that prize pool we're going to see for this season. But without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we saw some action coming through from Afro Esports yesterday. Unsullied Army, 14th Gaming, Gods of War. So many astounding performances, fake as well. So many teams turned up yesterday. Can they keep the energy today? You know, so tell me in the comments, guys, who you're rooting for, who you want to succeed, you know, and let's find out, you know, if they're going to be you know, consistent, if they're going to put numbers on the board and if they're going to make it into that top 17. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it's the Nigerian Pro League. It's season seven. It's showtime. And the plane is in the air. The plane is underway. There's a interesting turn of events here for uh, most of these teams. It's going to be an interesting play zone. You can see just uh, west uh, to east. And there is a, a little bit of a... We we'll have uh, an interesting turn up here. So, uh, big, uh, big place coming in from uh, most of these teams. You can see uh, the play zone is fairly circled up, you know, military base is out of it. So you already know that uh, Pachinki, you know, and the environs and I think somewhere around Rozok, that's where you're trying to be right now, you know, and not uh, lose too much sleep over all of that. Is a uh... harsh sports, uh, enjoying the little bit of. That little southern play in Milta. This is going to be a very tricky one because four portions do have to reign supreme in this area. I think they did uh, get uh, stopped back a couple of days ago by Black Mambas. But uh, for fortunately for them, it's not going to be Black Mambas this time. It's Harsh Esports. And again, there will be uh, a lot to cover going forward for f four portions. But they've been... Eagerly, uh, they've been eagerly uh, consistent so far. I think in the previous game yesterday, a match one, they were actually brilliant. Hove and uh, Hove and um, Jebugari were actually very solid yesterday in the first map. You know, Erangel. So, you no, know, that was also very, very much a uh, next level stuff for them. A lot of uh, 
discrepancies in um, most of the rotations coming in from the um, from these teams but it looks like uh no early engagements just yet and uh pieces of uh softens all the way around the northern side could be a little bit of a uh, reparations for most of these teams but uh like i said i will be rooting for tryout squad i'm really hoping that they get one of those amazing performances you know something that puts them in the running there with at least 20 points you know that could be a game changer for them that might just be able to do something special for them you know but uh it all boils, boils down to how badly do they want it though. So you can see, yeah? I don't think we've got Afro Esports here on the map just yet. We have RSG at full strength. We've got uh, Danny Brown, Quilla, Emma, and Wana. Oh, here we go. Gods of War and. Uh, Like a, I was a straggler there. And Solid Army have started their onslaught now. I think they pulled up into that third party between Harsh Esports and uh, in four portions. And I think uh, they were able to get a knock through. I think it was 4 1 1 was able to catch IC. So this might be a game changer here. Something might be brewing, but uh, looks like the Invincibles will be here instead. As uh, Paramole will uh, pop over a couple of shots, but uh, ooh, 911 peaked out a little bit too much there. He's hurt. You have to... Why did you turn around? Why did you turn around? Why? And surely they will make this advance now even for sure yep he's gonna go for it that's for certain but harsh esports will lose one now and uh 911 will be getting pa panned by spag and pepsi and four portions will be getting their first elimination spray onto babalawa there looks like he's glitching looks like uh he's fighting some serious internet battles but 411 is there to the rescue we'll catch lante and sends him back into the lobby courtesy of uh that that UMP switching on and off. Ah, it's all left to IC now. Nerd is taking serious hits. He's very low on HP, but he should be fine if they can hold off these two angles. The Harsh Esports cannot afford to lose right now. They are not safe. Their performance has just been a. Uh... Well, performance has not been too great. That hasn't uh, pushed them over the edge just yet. So on that. Uh back end but on solid army will have to reposition and they are looking for an opening inside probably trying to crack open an angle there to circle around uh, four portions because that is the biggest threat for them now but skinny i believe is going to be spotted immediately knocks clean off by ic and four portions now low again nerd has to pop through and find an angle there but i think he has spotted 411 can't seem to breach the corners he's he's inside of this shack and i don't think he can peek out he will be seriously hurt if he uh manages to hold off the angles there and uh, keep the shots at bay but on solid army are circling around you can uh, respect the hustle that is a fantastic grenade beautiful spray from 411 and on solid army again turning in the entire area to the royal rumble eliminating team one after the other s12k from 234 is perfect but he's gonna be dropped by skinny with a fantastic grenade four portions still on top and holding on babalao who have to reposition if he can get that reset and on solidami will be able to walk away with a plethora of eliminations if they can keep most of these uh from some serious internet problems there and the grenade over the top will hurt him cuts him down to about 10 hp jebugari making the advance one versus one or one versus three okay. there's a potential for something here a little bit of a nice spray from babalao but can't seem to connect the shots harsh esports still down to one inside of the shack he could spell danger for on solidami and for four portions, Nerd can be a thorn in their side, but will he make a move? Nerd can change the entire game here. He can do something 
from this position that he has, but he's not making a move. As I see, and Alante will fall away. Oh, he, had, he has a sideline on Skinny there. Will he take the shot? He's waiting, but he this is an opportunity. Will he take it? Ooh. What's he waiting for? Spag and Pepsi circling the block. Can't see. Still has a, some trigger discipline. Can't seem to find his uh, knees. Can't seem to hold on to his nerves there. But 2 3 4 will be dispatched courtesy of four portions. There is a. A little bit of a, <laughs> I'll call this a look before you leap scenario, 4-1-1. Still on the back end there, it's Iman Babala with the last two left. Four and Solid Army. How far can they make this happen though? Nerd is still inside, he hasn't made a move. Oh, that's a good spray. That's a good spray. And on Solid Army, surely now I've heard what's going on. An opportunity has arisen for them to breach through. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Looking for the opening against the guys from four portions. Babalao cannot make any mistakes here. He's waiting around. But the reset is coming up. On Solid Army might allow four portions to reset themselves. And they, I believe they have. And Babalao falls all the way back. On Solid Army will not be capitalizing. And that might just cost them, that decision might just cost them in the future. Can get onto the roof, might change things here. It's all going to be a bigger dynamic moment for Solid Army. It will be repositioning instead, but he's probably going to get caught out. Turned his back to the Ops. Orisha Babalao sprays from the corner there, but he doesn't have the best sight lines. Well, that's a beautiful spray. We'll catch a couple there, but uh, 4 1 1 will use the UMP to sweep away. Another angle there from Skinny. Surely. And Orisha just couldn't make it happen. Or the Babalao's charms failed this time on Solid Army. We'll go back into the lobby. That game could have gone so much more differently, but uh, looks like. Uh, and Solid Army just couldn't crack the code. Just couldn't crack the code of a... Uh, of a, uh, you know, four portions. Try out squad now and RSG will be locking horns in the south. Things just got unfortunate for try out squad federal. He's all by himself there. His teammates have been dispatched. Not sure if he's moved the muscle just yet. He's relaxing. He's waiting. Has he been discovered? Quella might be in serious danger here. Oh, there's two of them. He will be dropped by Danny Brown. Beautiful one versus one capabilities there. Had no idea that he wasn't there, but uh, the reflexes were top-notch. Danny Brown comes out on top. And RSG will get their third elimination. Once again, tryout squad will fall away by the wayside. So, more symbolism for most of these teams. The play zone is... Uh, Emphatic, Invincibles are back in back in the mix, back in the cut. They've got uh, two eliminations, Paramole and Sean. Diva yet to find hers first. You can see a uh, file play just making a little bit of a rotation. I don't know if they've left Solo behind. Okay, they okay they left him behind, but he should be fine. It's all part of the strategy. It's all part of the game. Solid army could have uh, done so much better in their engagement against four portions, but it is what it is. You know the. Uh, 
the experience goes a long way. It's going to be a, a game changer for most of these teams. It looks like foul play here. We'll be taking a hit. Crusader has got in a swept away there. Took a little bit of a hit, but I think he should be getting picked up just fine. And it is the Invincibles who pull up to the scene. Here comes Paramola now, trying to rotate from the right hand side. Sprays deep onto Rumbi. It will take a couple of hits, but the return fire is almost as brilliant. But Sean will be making the advance even closer. Diva as well. Been a beautiful run over from Diva. Invincibles just a absolutely crucial with their <laughs> absolutely crucial and clinical with the way that they're playing this entire position now cozy black getting overwhelmed from the back lines another one bites the dust paramole finally stopped with a beautiful dbs shot from crusader and that's about to be a game changer as well another spray to follow through sean continues to spray on but can't seem to find the angles there a little bit of a corner to work as well Sean uh, trying to pop through. Cozy Black has to be very careful. He circled back again, but he exposes himself immediately for Sean. Next, the bait and switch is perfect from the Invincibles. And Crusader is nowhere to be found. He's just too far away. He doesn't have an angle here. And this might just do the trick. And another one is run over, running over, mowing the lawns is foul play. One after the other, they go down. The Invincibles just showing their superiority. In that entire engagement, you have to respect it. What a what a way to wrap up your enemies. Principles up to five eliminations now. They have lost Paramole, so uh, the game just got a little bit uh, much more significant. Be harder for them to win, but uh, harder is not impossible. Call now on the receiving end. 14th gaming, trying to deal with them, but they will be losing to losing a couple of. Uh, interesting drops and then interesting positions going forwards but the play zone has shrunk in towards the southern side four portions will need to be very careful rsg trying to starting to find their rhythm now they're up to five for themselves big back play defensive role inside of the compound shanks peeks out he's hurt immediately from wana and rsg are repositioning very very nicely here they might uh, decide to overthrow fake from that position if they do not get out of dodge it's a very, very difficult compound to defend. There's so many uh, entry points. Norris G will have uh, a lot to look out for in this one if they can uh, hold out going forwards. Uh, esports have uh, made a little nest for themselves in the center of the circle this is going to be a it is going to require a lot from them if they are trying to defend this position uh, unfortunately their esports have lost one they are playing as three. It's going to be a very difficult, uh, very difficult one for them to maneuver. But uh, never stopped them before. Fake. It's a nice grenade over the top. RSG will be uh, taking yet another hit. As uh, Wana will be the next one to go down now. They decided to breach. And they're holding inside. Shanks as well, trying to pop through again to the corner. And he's going to be dropped perfectly by Quilla. Killer will close that one immediately as well. Jinmori now on the on the ground floor, spraying a little bit of the corner. Changes over, beautiful touch, beautiful touch again from Jinmori. But the DBS from Quilla will shut that down immediately. And RSG will occupy the building, take over the compound, and not lose a single body in the process. I think, but it should be still at full strength. They are. The recess should be coming in nicely. RSG up to eight eliminations now. 
and that tax is already starting to be paid. Solid defensive position coming in from RSG. And uh, an even better offense position. Able to snatch all of those things, all of those positions away one at a time from fake. But there's still a ways to go. Now we're down to nine teams. We've got uh, 27 players, Invincibles among them. Are still uh, wriggling with their uh, the five eliminations. They might just be running into the guns from four portions here. And this might be the, uh, the hillside position they'll be looking for. Diva probably going to be sp spun out of a buggy immediately, but uh, was able to get out of the danger just in time. The Invincibles uh, will have to think very, very long and hard of how they want to engage and hold off these positions. Seven loss will lose. Uh... Seven loss will lose the Trona. Okay. We'll be uh, backing that one away. more positions being occupied by, God, by gods of war here you see wormhole is just looking for that opening trying to breach in I can't seem to Find the angles just yet. Crusader finally discover, discovered by Wana and RSG will make that nine. Solid position that they're holding right now. They're not uh, giving up too much. Neither are they giving up too little. An African legend just pulled up to the scene as well. Another one hits, takes a serious hit. Quilla is going to be dropped away there. African legend looking for that opening to hold off. And I think Quilla will be dispatched. They will not let this one slide. And African legends. Probably gonna try to stop them one after the other, but Ember sprays deep, tries to catch a body over to the northern side, and that will be a wrap for African Legends, courtesy of RSG. And Emma was the one to put the final blow, the finishing touches on them. And Danny Brown already makes the advance top side. Now he's trying to gather as much intel as possible here onto the back from I believe their esports. No do more do. He's up there, spraying deep, catches Wana immediately. Return fire is absolutely brilliant. And now uh, the utilities are starting to come out. But they're esports, they want the smoke, they want the offensive. And they are going to be running through to gather some more intel. But RSG are playing as three, they have the numbers advantage. So he's going to take a little bit more than driving around to get some intel. And he did miss a, miss a line that engagement there. Hop out of the vehicle, man. Dami, unfortunately, going to get stopped dead in his tracks again. Odumodu with a nice spray onto the left-hand side. Catches Danny Brown and knocks him clean off. Another opportunity again to sweep through. Hops inside. DBS. No, no, no. Yes, connects. One for two, three, four, five, six. And all the shots in the world couldn't make it happen. But RSG will be st stomping on business here with 15 eliminations. And Emma is the one that saves the day once again for RSG and Danny Brown will be thanking his stars for that one that's for sure call is a uh, down to four here they are still have one player in the mix I don't know if they're aware of uh, RSG's position but that might be the only opportunity they're looking for here oh what a spray and one up cannot be saved this time and back into the lobby, he will go courtesy of light there. What a way to 
steal and uh, run away. That's for sure. Gods of one to the western side are holding up. And another opportunity for Lights to make an advance inside of the zone. Western side completely occupied by Gods of War. But that's another opportunity for Light to make an advance inside again. He pops through, stops down. And now, an, uh, an, uh, 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 now a corner being held there. Sprays onto the left. Can't seem to connect the shots again. But a three versus two from the back line. He will be overwhelmed by RSG. And uh, payback is a B. And it will be paid in full. RSG will close the curtain on that one. Now we're down to four teams. being occupied here from four portions they have been meek and steady and consistent so far but the play zone is not favorable for them they need to deal with the invincibles on the eastern side of their of their visual it's going to be a, a hard not to crack for them but rsg already taking the high ground and the better position oh what a spray that is from Ijebu Gary, that's almost inch perfect. Danny Brown is low on HP. As he made that drive, he was absolutely dangerous. He is not Tom Cruise. He is not. This is not Fast and Furious for sure. He's going to be shot out of his vehicle if he tries that again. The four portions are still not inside of the zone. Gods of War, on the other hand, still playing from the northern side. Another opportunity for them to rattle the cages here. into the lobby it's all left to diva now he knows that that knock was good off the grenade onto the right hand side again and that will be the end of four portions they peaked out and they was dropped immediately by rsg rsg up to 17 and now we're down to three six bodies in the cut gods of war now looking for an opening we saw this script play out yesterday will it play out again will god of war will gods of war lose this one Diva finally dispatched by Wormhole. Gods of War absolutely tearing through. And one after the other, they start to fall. Now we're down to five players. A three versus two. Opportunity now comes but once for RSG. Emma might take a serious hit from that grenade that is cooking. If he's not careful, if he doesn't make a move on time, that grenade will connect. Fortunately for him, he's a couple inches short. But now, don't blink. Might be on the receiving end of another grenade onto the backside. But can't seem to connect. Emma's there, trying to hold off. The right-hand side is still exposed his position. But he does have an angle there. Emma's grenade is finally perfect. Don't blink, getting knocked away again. And here we go. Feigning through to the left-hand side. So he will be out of sight for Wormhole to shoot his position. And surely RSG have this one. Another one dropped by the backside. Danny Brown with a beautiful beautiful spray from the eastern corner it's all left to wormhole now can he hold on gods of war we saw this script play out yesterday and it looks like it's about to play out again in back-to-back -back fashion rsg making forwards and making the advance 20 eliminations is it possible and rsg going to create a masterpiece here are we about to witness a masterclass performance from rsg 17 eliminations two bodies knocked away that's 19 will they make it 30 or will wormhole deny the elimination no he will not deny as rsg will walk away with 20 eliminations and a chicken dinner ladies and gentlemen highest in the entire playoffs performed rsg RSG, RSG, the Quill attacks, the Danny Brown tax, one attacks and Emma tax paid in full, 20 eliminations and a chicken dinner to follow. Ladies and gentlemen, masterclass performance every day in the NPL. You can only see it here. RSG absolutely tearing through another contending team and you just love to see it. Gods of War in second place again in with seven eliminations here. Invincibles in third place with five. Four portions in fourth place with six. Call in a call in fifth place with five. Seven loss in sixth place with two. Dare Esports in seventh place. African Legends in eighth place with one. Foul Play in ninth place with one. Aatrox in tenth place. Fake in eleventh place. 
12th place to 14th gaming with one elimination tryout squad in 13th on solid army in 14th with two harsh esports in 15th with one masterclass performance i can't deny that one rsg showing exactly who they are and what they are capable of ladies and gentlemen that is what we love to see the the, the, the substitution paid its dues myth mystic for one hour turned everything on its head and ladies and gentlemen that is how you get things done what a show from rsg but it's not over just yet three more maps to go and we'll be back right after this break
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. It's the Nigerian Pro League season seven, and we have kicked up in kicked off in grand style. RSG Rage Shield. Senna's probably, you know, kicking his feet in the air right now, gli gliding, glancing all over the screen. I'm surprised he's not even in the chat. Twenty eliminations and a chicken dinner, highest we've seen. That is the best performance we've seen in a bit. So RSG know exactly what they've been biting their time for. You know, they waited until the last couple of days to actually cook. And I, I ain't mad though. I'm not mad at it. But it's not over just yet. Can they get themselves back into the first page of the leaderboard? We're about to find out. Are we about to see a masterclass from RSG? Can they win four chicken dinners in a row? I mean, if they do that one, they'll win the NPL. I'm, I'm, I'm certain of it. I'm certain. Although I already know who's going to win the playoffs. I'm already certain, you know, I know the team. I know the team. I know the team. Don't worry. Don't ask me. I know the team. But, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's head straight into the action. It's Miramar season. So we're about to, you know, rise to the occasion for another time. Just to... Rise to the occasion another time just to keep things open to see what the deal is here. I'm super excited. But uh, I think I did miss that uh, plane path, but uh, nothing to worry about. Got ourselves uh, 17 teams in here trying their absolute best to survive. Try our squad again playing as two. I don't like this. I really want this team to succeed. Okay, what is this? What is this character supposed to be? I mean, I can't. I ain't mad though. But what is this character supposed to be? Like? <laughs> and, uh, it's gonna be Federal and uh, Zani. I mean, I don't know why Trial Squad, Squad, Trial Squad do not play as a four-man team so often. They have so much potential, and it looks like seven lost. Be getting their hands dirty against the guys from African Legends, the Kings, eh? It's going to be playing off the back end there. He's seriously hurt. He's dropped away. Solo will be uh, sent back into the lobby. And Seven Lost have been absolutely tearing it up. But four portions as well. It looks like uh, there's three teams in here. And uh, Seven Lost are already looking like they've uh, cracked the code here. They don't know exactly where they're trying to play from. Can't seem to get an angle just yet. Jebugari and uh, Spag and uh, Pepsi. The four portion need they know who they need. They need beans. Four portion of beans is who they need. That's the real guy. That's the real guy. Four portion of beans. That is the real guy, man. That is the guy that they are <laughs> that they need. Four portion of beans, four portion of rice, four portion of spag and Pepsi. That combination deadly. Let's see. Let's go. Seven lust. They didn't really get a piece of that action, but uh, Four Portion, on the other hand, got a whole lot from that. Dollars gets knocked away as well. Akinze, on the other hand, can only look from a distance as the rest of his team is obliterated. And it is one of those things that you don't get to see every day, but African Legends, when you, if you know the African Legends I know, they were one of the hardest to contend with, one of the strongest teams, you know. I don't know what happened to them, but Dream Team will set their sights on Trial Squad again. Trial Squad will lose another body. That guy just got knocked away. I don't think I don't know if he's gonna be a first or not, but it looks like it, that's gonna be the case. Federal, he's taking a serious hit. He's bleeding out. I, don't, I think that's gonna be the end for him. That's what we got from Dream Team. There's only so much they can do for Federal here, but uh, back into the lobby he goes. Dream Team will come out on top. First elimination for them. Now, uh, we take a look at Afro Esports. You can see the plan here. They're already settled up quite nicely in Minas Generales in the center. 
Nijebugari will be taking a hit. Hove will be taking a hit as well. Seven lost. Looks like they're not going to back away from this one. Itachi is going to be knocked away. Another corner. And uh, <laughs> the Green Channel now will follow suit. Smokey now looking for an opportunity. Spag and Pepsi still not letting this one slide away. Another one bites the dust. Spag and Pepsi. Spag and Pepsi. Jump shot. Oh, what a finish from Spag and Pepsi. Slaughtered him like rah! Spag and Pepsi is that guy, ladies and gentlemen. Four portions of Spag and Pepsi. That's what we eating. That's what we eating. Four portions of Spag and Pepsi is all we eating tonight. He, four, four portions of Spag and Pepsi. That's what we are feasting on tonight, man. What are you telling me? What are you saying, bro? Four portions absolutely tearing through. Seven lost. And losing just one body in the process. That tells you a whole lot. Tells you a whole lot. Lost got lost there. Unfortunate scenes, but we have to keep it moving. Play zone is quite interesting, though. Look, nobody is in Los Leones. Hmm. And nobody's even in La Bendita. Minas Generales being held tight by Afro Esports because they know that something is going to be cooking in there. And they are trying to, you know, secure their positions. Can't blame them on that one. But four portions, what a way to kick off. Six eliminations once more. I think they did get six or seven in the previous game. So the consistency is there. They've got some points on the board for themselves. Seven lost. Almost had it in the bag. But that dude really wanted to use a DBS against the suppressed AK-47 at some questionable range. That range was questionable. Come on now. Let's be for real. But it's not over just yet. There's still a lot of work to be done. Gods of War, their rotation is going to be the spiciest one I've ever seen. You can take a look at Gods of War. They're all the way out here in the western side. Just uh, west of uh, El Pozo. You know, even further west. So it's going to take a lot for them to make this rotation around RSG. RSG are split very nicely in El Pozo. They've got all the loot they need. That's, a, that's, for, that's for one team. El Pozo is, well, is good enough to loot. Loot is good enough loot for one team, you know. And uh, Picardo, foul play will be there as expected. And Solid Army here might be running into something uh, treacherous with this rotation here. 911 is on the bike. Has to be very careful. Their esports are not playing around right now. They're very upset. You know, no Agathe in the mix. Looks like foul play will be setting their sights onto the guys from the Invincibles. Paramole getting called out and knocked away there. Might uh, be a game changer here if foul play can uh, capitalize on this, and I believe they will. <laughs> now the Invincibles etching closer and closer. Romsey and Solo as well coming th to fruition to reap where they sow. Diva now makes the advance. Offensive grenade about to change the entire dynamic. I think Solo has been spotted. Another type of spray. Oh, that's a beautiful spray over to the top. But Diva is immediately going to be spotted out. Forced back. Paramole sent back into the lobby by Rumsey. And Valplay uh, convened to the scene as a four man team at full capacity now. So Invincibles will have to think twice before they engage in this one because it might not turn out uh, too favorable. It's going to be a rough, rough couple of minutes here for the Invincibles, that's for sure. Because uh, these guys are still... Oh! Oh, that hurt. Oh, that hurt. Beautiful touch from Solo. And foul play. Tearing through the Invincibles. Sean is peeking. Trying to reset his scope, but that's not going to be the case. Their esports will... Uh, catch that body from Unsolid Army that they've been looking for. 4 one on the receiving end as well. And that might be a game changer here. Foul play looking to wrap this one up. Sean stopped dead in his tracks with that DBS. He slapped straight in the neck. There he was now trying to hold off Aatrox in the north. Unsolid Army down south. Might take a little bit of a 
repositioning to work. Uh, Esports able to snatch away two souls from on the Unsolid Army, and uh, that will be a big blow for Unsolid Army right now because they've been absolutely dominant so far in their performance. But right now, they've not been able to find their footing today. It's going to be a, a hard one, a hard pill to swallow. But RSG now, speaking of swallowing hard pills, it's about to be a tricky one. What a spray from Wana! Well, he missed everything there. Peaked out a little bit more. Dam Mami's going to take a another hit. With Modu getting caught out by Danny Brown. There, nice spray from the western corners again. Danny Brown might decide to spark something here. Has been able to steal that one away. Mami now will fall to Wana. Quela making the advance even forward. But he's the one HP. He tries to reset and reposition. Buttercup now circling back onto the... The top half of this hillside again. Buttercup taking some serious hits and, uh, and hops into his vehicle to escape. But he's still within shooting distance. Might be dropped away here if he's not careful. But manages to make it through. Quilla, uh, Emma is there actually with Quilla on the backdrop. Beautiful spray again. There's no way Dami escapes this one if he doesn't make it just beyond the ridge line. And he manages to make it happen just in time. The spray is continuing to the distance but you should be able to make it out of dodge but no danny brown says no you're not getting away i will chase you down and it continues to spray again and again onto dami's position and rsg are not gonna walk away with this one or walk away from this one but dami abandons the vehicle <laughs> you know the rsg are out for blood tonight they're already up. I believe they've got six eliminations already. Okay, they've got three actually. For me, 20 elimination chicken dinner. It doesn't get any better than that. But a back to back. Is that what is in the cars? We're about to find out. Looks like 14th and Afro Esports are about to run into each other. So three versus four. And there's a mill worth of action here. Ooh, Triple Chinese gets uh, tagged up there. But Afro Esports have all the bases and all the angles covered. Now we're about to find out. Can they hold off 14th Gaming? 14th Gaming are equal to the task. But Fake will catch a body there onto the guy from foul play. I believe Solo was knocked away. Another angle there to circle back from. A little bit of a nice spray. Afro Esports are outnumbered here. They are severely outnumbered. That extra player for 14th Gaming could be... Uh, very very treacherous but foul play will close the doors on fake again and they will be shut out of uh, that position aeroplane will have to reposition first time he's playing in the playoffs tonight probably gonna be a big game changer for afro esports but again afro esports are for they are controlling the play right now they are forcing the guys from 14th to make this rotation west from the western side. I think they have that is the plan here, and 14th Gaming are falling for it. They have to resist the urge to make that rotation from that position. As you can see, our uh, Afro Esports are starting to take shape. Starting to take shape. Merstack is making that uh, quick rotation to the eastern side, and he's about to take a, on a whole lot more. If he's not careful enough, but I think they are going to advance into a little bit of a corner there just to gather as much intel as possible. Dago will make the advance a little further. They will be running into, I believe that is Team Aatrox that they did just run into. The 14th gaming. Still, uh... In an indisposable position. It is very hard for Afro Esports to use the intel that they're gathering for much because there's still more bodies around them. They are almost uh, chipped up by the play zone there coming in from the northern side. But I think they will have to reposition. And uh, 
they've seen that that uh, area is not going to be feasible for them to take engagements in owing to the fact that there is a high high possibility for a third party and they will be proactive and get out of dodge 14th gaming will uh reposition as well probably gonna play up uh, further into the south like i said earlier nobody lost leones still lost leones is still empty aatrox now on the receiving end from harsh esports they will take that one away immediately shinigami looking for an opening to spray right through and drop immediately i seem to spot anything just yet but ic was able to catch a body was able to wrap things up relatively very quickly and solid army are still down as a uh, plane as two and if you notice it is always babalao and somebody that are the last two left for solid army think think mark think think mark what does that tell you mark babalao is invincible He's him. And RSG. Now uh, tearing forwards. I think they were pretty uh, ambiguous when it came to taking positions around these parts. But they will have to reposition again. Play zone is a little bit out of touch there. But look at Danny Brown. He's scaling. He is always scanning. He is always scanning. Always checking the perimeter every single time. You know, but there goes uh, Emma with his uh, her horrible driving skill. RSG, they can pick a perfect spot in this in this next circle. They might just give us a back-to-back. -back. We've seen two back-to-back -back performances here. Are we about to see a third? So RSG do have four eliminations, one apiece for everyone. I think Danny Brown was scanning earlier to get that intel, and I think he has it. He has the drop on on Solid Army. But I don't think they have to drop on him just yet. Babalao will be dropped away immediately. Big shout out to Danny Brown because that was all him. That was absolutely all him. Grenade from from Wana will close that one immediately. And uh, I think 911 it would be ideal for him to get out of dodge. Danny Brown is aware of his position. But uh, in this one versus one, I still put my money on Danny Brown though. In the one versus one scenario, he's very capable, you know. Foul play have been uh, quite uh, luscious, and the chaos they've been dealing to most of these teams, though you can tell, they will be setting their sights into that little corner there, and that will be the end of Dream Team once again. Foul play are up to ten eliminations. Crusader, Cozy, Black Solo, and Rumsey are up to 10 eliminations now. And we still have 11 teams in the cut. Crazy scenes when Foul Play have got 10 eliminations and Afro Esports have got nothing. But I spoke too soon. De Aeroplane is uh, circling the block there. I think, he's I think he has that angle. Afro Esports, we've seen this before. We've seen it. We've seen the script. And Afro Esports might just be dealing that danger we expect. And here goes Crusader, the opening knock from Afro Esports. Aeroplane will be the one to launch things to happen right now. And an RSG again will stomp in the face of danger. 14th Gaming, their next victims this time. Back into the lobby they go. Foul play, circling the block. Already making a move, solo moves in front to hold off the angles. Aeroplane circling again from the western side, trying to pinch in the guys from foul play. You can see the plan here. North and south, squeeze them in the, in, into the middle. Aeroplane sprays into the smoke, but Cozy Black is in the shack. Has the angle covered. Romsey's been spotted. Sprayed again from the back side and the front side. Take a look at the angles being operated here by afro esport but merstack is gonna be caught by romsey he had the angles all wrong and daegu again now will be the receiving end but aeroplane is there to pop through onto romsey's position now the squeeze might come through from the eastern side for foul play but again they might take a little bit of time to hold these angles tight and forced through crusader finally dispatched and sent back into the lobby solos there but i'm not sure they are aware of this guy and a little bit of a spray there. 
from Cozy Black. It's a one versus two. Trying to pop through onto the side, but beautiful display from Aeroplane. And back into the lobby he goes, punched out. You have to respect the abilities there. Cozy Black, back into the lobby he goes. And two for two. And Afro Esports showing exactly why the tacticality and the technique is always going to win in the end. He got, there was a little bit of a scare there for Merstack, but it didn't stop the did not stop them from executing the play. But I was expecting a whole lot more from Cozy Black there. I really thought he was gonna get the drop on Aeroplane, but that was not gonna be the case. Aatrox will uh, spray a little bit of a forward position to catch a I believe it was wrecked. I used the Mini-14 to deal some damage towards the guys from RSG, but I think they should be fine. A little bit of a rotation will uh, cancel all of that out. And now we're down to 10 teams. Yeah, that is not ideal. That is absolutely not ideal. That is a Mini, bro. He will drop you. He'll drop you like a, a bad relationship. And... Uh, but RSG, nine eliminations now. Are we about to see a masterclass again from RSG? 20 eliminations again. It is not too far-fetched. It is absolutely not too far-fetched. They've got nine. All it takes is 11. And there's still over 20 bodies in the lobby. So you already know. They can make it happen again. That will be history, ladies and gentlemen. The first team to do back-to-back -back chicken dinners. We over 20 eliminate or over... 19 eliminations in a single game but we love to see it now harsh esports on the playing a little bit of a couch potato defensive style oh what a spray from one out opens the gates as well nerd is going to be knocked away here comes harsh esports scrambling icy might be getting dropped away grenade will cause this one immediately wana will have to launch one over to the top surely they will have to reposition and hold the angles tight and harsh esports now on the receiving end here comes rsg quilla now rotating from the right hand side tries to pop over to the side lante versus quilla in a one versus one and he's gonna be dropped as well shinigami playing off the back end angles now looking tighter and tighter he's gonna be dropped away by kinze afro african legends will steal a point away from this engagement, Akinze all the way from the backside uses the M16 to deal damage and Wana continues to bleed out. But he is going to be getting picked up. Danny Brown getting stormed in as well. Dropped to his knees. Here comes... Oh, DBS from Emma will shut that one away. And I see he's in trouble now. Afro Esports can hear all the commotion going on in this area. And this might be a game changer. RSG down to two bodies. And that will be the end of Danny Brown. Here comes Emma again trying to hold off. DBS into the corner, but he will be stopped dead in his tracks. Has Harsh Esports will hold off. Nerd will close that one immediately. And another spray now. Four portions trying to hold off. Grenade. Molotov instead. Pops through the corner. Solo takes a little bit of a big hit, but he will be able to move and advance his position. A DBS the DBS into the corner. You can hear him reloading, surely. But he will not make the advance anymore. Afro Esports can hear the commotion circling into the backside to hold off the corners. Hove still looking for an opening to deal with foul play. The last player, Solo, being the solo man. The grenade from Spag and Pepsi. Spag and Pepsi is what we eat in today. Seven eliminations on the board. Four portions. Chicken dinner. Is it going to be a possibility? It's looking likely. But let's not forget, Gods of War still here. The best team in survival. So they have been so significantly the best surviving team in the entirety of the playoffs. As a two-man, as a three-man, as a four-man, they have been surviving. But now Gods of War, how far can they survive? They've got two eliminations in the boot. They do have a little bit of plays on to work with. Aatrox still in the fit in the feed there. Unsolid Army still have 911. Uh, somebody's about to call the ambulance now for the ops because uh Aeroplane will close that one immediately. This grenade might be perfect. It might be. Oh, it did connect, but uh, wasn't enough to get the job done just yet. But, uh, it's also so many angles so many bodies around to make something happen here aatrox are still down to two but they still have three bodies 
in the car here so they might be able to use the numbers advantage for themselves still have two bodies in the play zone already trying to find a nice position inside now it's going to be a nice oh they found a nice dip actually afro esports now starting to oblige them as they go an aeroplane working hand in hand uh, to be absolutely tearing through spray might be good oh he picked out a little bit too long there and he's going to be dropped away two sprays two sprays from dago will make it uh will make it clap actually from aeroplane and he just uh changed something dynamic there four portions still have the angles and the position smokes should be coming out there you go has been sent back into the lobby aeroplane with that grenade over to the top and that might seal the deal there it will hurt a little bit but it's not enough. Wrecked is there. Pops the Molotov over to the top. But Aeroplane wants all the smoke. He peeks up over to the top outside. And he's going to be dropped to his knees. The one versus one was not successful for Aatrox there. And Afro Esports are now up to nine. But they do have just a solo player. Spag and Pepsi from four portions is there. Two players up for four portions left. Levi from Cole sent back into the lobby. That will be the end. Now we're down to five. Seven bodies in the cut. Single players everywhere. None of them in a relationship, except the guys from God of War. I think, I think there are two. It's two of them now. They have, they still somehow have the advantage. Grenade from 911 finally connects to Akinze. Back into the lobby he goes. Here comes Aeroplane. Spag and Pepsi finally crashing into the circle. And four portions have the opportunity to change the entire game here. If they can get rid of this singular player. Another opportunity to pop one over to the top hand side. Grenade is good, but can't seem to connect the angles there. Bane to the left hand side, can hold off. Might be able to force it through and hold off to the angles there. Here come Gods of War. Well, he, this guy has no idea what's going on around him at all. Aeroplane has moved into another position. 10 eliminations for Afro Esports. It's a 2 versus 2 versus 1. Who's going to make it happen? Gods of War. Will they be stopped again in the top 3? Will they allow this chicken dinner slip away from their fingers? Nice grenade from Gravity. Still doesn't have the angles on it just yet. A bit of play zone action here. Play zone is going to be a big determining factor of how the rest of this game goes because they do not have any ideas on what the deal is here. They're all circling back. Tighter. You can see the grenade. It pops over onto Gravity's position, but he can't seem to hold off the angles there. Four portions advancing better and better. They have better angles, better position. But Gravity takes another hit with the grenade. Tries to pop over to the west hand side. You can see the spray is good. An aeroplane will drop yet another body from four portions. Spark and Pepsi will be the next victim. Can aeroplane single handedly make it happen? But a grenade over to the top can't seem to connect. And here comes Fierce. Oh, that's a perfect one. Perfect grenade. He takes a hit, but unfortunately, it's not enough to stop him. And another one to bite the dust from gravity now. It's a two versus one. Aeroplane again pops over to the top. Drops him immediately. He's all left to gravity. Aeroplane. Aeroplane. Flying over the sky, flying over the ops. Is gravity versus aeroplane somehow? This final turn into a 1v1. An aeroplane from Afro Esports. Can he fly over and fly away with that chicken dinner? Ladies and gentlemen, this fight just turned into something else. I have no hope in aeroplane here, but this guy, he's absolutely cooking right now. 12 eliminations, 10 for aeroplane. Daegu has been carried and lifted. Gravity again peeks out, tries to stop through. A little bit of a spray, switches to the M4, sprays over to the top, feints left and right, drops him again, but Gravity 
will bring him down to the ground. 9.98 meters squared. Gravity comes out on top and that chicken dinner that has been evading gods of war finally will be theirs. Five eliminations and a chicken dinner for gods of war. And Afro Esports in second place with uh, 12 eliminations. 10 for Aeroplane in four portions. In third place with eight. On Solid Army in fourth place with one. Af African Legends in fifth place with one. Cole in sixth place. Aatrox in seventh place with two. Harsh Esports in 8th place with 3. Foul Play in 9th place with... What is that? 12? I think that's 12. Yeah, that's 12. Beautiful. RSG in 10th place with 9. 14th in 11th place. Dream Team in 12th place with 2. Dare Esports in 13th place with 2. Fake in 14th. Sean and the rest of the guys from the Invincibles in 15th. Tryout Squad in 16th. And 7 lost in 17th. What a show from Afro Esports again. There you go. And Aeroplane linking up. They were linking up. Linking up is what that is called because what a what a show from afro esports i mean you can't even make this up i think they should be first place on the leaderboard now with that performance absolutely breathtaking stuff but it's not over just yet still got two matches locked in and we're gonna do a little bit of miramar repertoire to see you know who's gonna take the second miramar of tonight and then we we'll come back and wrap up with the rangers so don't touch that down we'll be back right after this <music>
ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. It is the Nigerian Pro League Season 7 and we are in the Hamatan Split Playoffs. We are still on the journey to find the top 17 teams that will be moving on into the league stages to join the top three teams from last season in a round-robin league gr teeth grinding format. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, it's about to be some action. It's about to be some showdown. Miramar is up again. You know, we just saw... Uh, some interesting turnout in that previous game. Are we about to see more of the same? Are we about to see a back-to-back? A -back? Or, you know, is someone going to finally get a chicken dinner that has been eluding them? Because I don't think... there's. I think there's still some teams that haven't gotten any chicken dinners. You know, so this might be the opportunity to snatch one away. So let's uh, head over to Miramar and let's see what the deal is. And let's see what's cooking. Lane path is upon us north to south. Straight down the middle, straight down um, Specado, San Martin. Foul play, we're probably going to like this one. It's right down their alley, and I don't think anyone is going to, you know, drag them or drag this one with them. Should be fine. A little bit of a, a tinksy, <laughs> a little bit of a tasty gameplay that they will be embarking on here. But it looks like La Cobrera will contain a, a little bit of extra bodies here. Aatrox uh, be looking for a way to subdue. I think, I believe it should be Harsh Esports in this vicinity. It is Harsh Esports. It's a four versus three. So Aatrox already uh, have the upper hand out the gate. It's all a matter of who is going to throw the first blow and will connect See, I see uh, just uh, ransacking everything within sight, really. Well, I think uh, I see has the idea. Well, it's all about the execution now. Lante is off a different uh, angle be a nice position to squeeze there but Icy gets caught out take a couple hits down to about 40 HP trucks have uh, have their foot on the gas right now they do have a general idea of IC's position the best uh, <laughs> the best uh, form of attack now would be to isolate IC from the rest of his teammates and then you know box him in and eliminate him quickly I think that rotation coming in from Valley might just be able to do that or Rex is also front there a couple of shots probably gonna start ringing out there but all the angles getting hit Rex will be dropped away and the numbers advantage starting to come at play here but uh, unfortunately Aatrox couldn't catch uh, any shots off guard and now they might be on the receiving end here but he's probably going to finish wrecked and Rex will get wrecked back into the lobby now Harsh Esports have brought the house down three three versus three and that's a nice grenade from Lante will it connect though does have a general idea and he's gonna be dropped instead. Charge the grenade a little bit too much. Ooh, 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 ooh. AKM swinging from side to side. Another corner dropped immediately. He's nerd. Harsh Esports will be down to one. And it's gonna be icy. There's only so much he can do from this position. He has so many blind spots to look out for. Rykad has him in his sights. That's a nice spray, but now they know exactly where he is, and he's still got one player behind him from Aatrox. Molotov inside as well to follow suit. If he can get that knock away, he might be able to just do something special here. It's not looking like that's going to be the case. 
Lonsi just got caught charging that grenade a little bit too long. Should have uh, executed that perfectly. A grenade from here might do... Might make the... Oh! <laughs> Molotov was perfect. Inch perfect, actually. Game changer, right here. We finally uh, shot that one down. And I see with the uh, the AKM again, just a uh, they slither of uh, angles to work with. Rick might just have to pop a grenade up at the top side there, but uh, that might do the trick. now and Aatrox will show superiority in absolute in an absolute dominating performance losing just one Rex would probably be enjoying in the view from the lobby knowing that his teammates have avenged him successfully play zone is all the way in the south most teams are I will be I will be akin to playing out of those position. Looks like a Four portions are being handed some portions here in the northwestern corner of that circle. And the skinny is taking a serious hit. And I believe that will be the end of four portions grenade. From Dream Toner. Wow, four portions already out of the lobby, you know. Alright, sorry, I did have a little bit of technical difficulties there, but it has been resolved. Playzone finally on the move. And also going to be a, a big uh, deciding moment for most of these teams, how they will make a rotation into the south, especially those up north, like Aatrox and Gods of War. RSG as well, difficult rotations for them. And I did talk about Gods of War's rotation from the west you know in the previous game somehow they made it happen and they ended up with that chicken dinner you gotta respect the hustle you have to trust the process and that is exactly what gods of war been able to do rsg you have been the uh the landmark of a uh, or the epitome of team performances today with that uh, first match of our uh, 20 eliminations so we'll be a we'll be a reckoning if they can do more of the same but we have had uh, RSG we've had uh, Guards of War all with uh, chicken dinners today who is going to join them for the third chicken dinner of the night? Oh, 
what a spray that was perfect spray from one our rsg just pulling up immediately and letting it fly and quilla will wrap that one up immediately as well rsg with a beautiful ambush onto seven lost they had no idea what was going on they had no idea what was coming for them it is rsg the rage shield now there will be more to it than uh and what meets the eye here, but uh, there's a, it's, it's, it's going to be a very difficult breach for RSG to, you know, make a way inside of this en encampment that uh, several loss have got uh, going on here. If he can find a position, if he can find an angle. That could be crucial to their success. But there's no way to know. They have to, they have to keep it up. They have to be extremely consistent. Play zone continues to shrink even further. And Gods of War, you can see them playing this very, very slow. Foul play on the other hand in the center of the circle, taking a couple of hits towards Dream Team. And I believe that was Lola that got called out, knocked away as well. Back into the lobby. Lola will go, unfortunately. And uh, it is one of those things. It is a, uh, the ultimate sacrifice. But to what end? Dream Team not had the best time here i don't think they've got a chicken dinner at all i don't think they've gotten any chicken dinner really you know i could be wrong but i don't think they've gotten any chicken dinner have, have dream team gotten any chicken dinner you guys tell me tell me in the chat guys have dream team gotten a chicken dinner i don't think they have they are one of the teams i do enjoy watching when it comes to, you know, tacticals and clear cut, you know, classic type of plays. And ooh, an SLR only on Solid Army. Only on Solid Army. Someone on Solid Army will be using an SLR. That's to tell you these guys are different. Now they're trying to deal with fake. Shanks has been knocked away courtesy of that SLR. But uh, they do have a, a better vantage point. So I think the resets will come through. Two, three, four. Can't seem to breach head on. We're going to find an angle, uh, a point of entry, and it looks like it might just be coming in from the south again. You can hear the uh, SLR bouncing away in the background there. Let's go and see Babala was just uh, circling up, trying to get that angle. He might decide to slam into the walls very, very shortly, and that might change everything here. Two, three, four, still taking some hits. But I think... Uh, I think the plan is to get out of dodge. I'm not sure. Okay, well. Yeah, I don't see I don't see anything coming out of this. Af African legends on the other hand have been called out by Afro Esports one after the other. Now there's an opportunity for Akinze to do something at least, but Aeroplane's grenade is inch perfect and he will be biting the dust. Here he goes again. Prophet taking that hit. And he missed his shot. Oh, that's a nice spray from Akinze. Can he at least pop a grenade over the top? That might change things. But he picked out a little bit too much. Merstack is there to shut that down immediately. And RSG will continue the onslaught onto the guys from Dream Team. I think they caught them up there in the north as they were trying to make their rotation. And they will lose that one, courtesy of Wana. Two eliminations for him. Emma in front, trying to hold through. And Dream Team on the receiving end of the violence. Once again, M4 just spraying through the, the bales there to send a couple shots through. And it will be Quilla that shuts it down immediately for RSG. Puts them up three eliminations. And they continue. RSG continue to show that they have been learning, they have been adapting to the game so far. They know what to do in certain scenarios. You can tell from the way they move. 
and try out squad as a three-man team just uh, enjoying the little position that they've got for themselves here again it's not over it's not it's not over just yet they can make something happen here all they need is a very very good game and that might turn the tides because today i don't think they've gotten gotten any points you know and i'm heavily rooting for these guys man Laser should be on the move right now. Couple minutes till it shrinks up. There's a, a little bit of a crack, crack open position coming in from their esports here. They've not been able to get any elimination just yet, just yet. And no Agathe again for the third time today. No Agathe in the lineup, guys. What do you think is going on? No Agathe in their esports. What is going on? What does this mean? Guys, let's overanalyze this. Does it mean Agathe has been signed by another team? Could that be what this is? You know, there's a... There's more to it than that, but that's for sure. But their esports have been uh, pretty uh, reluctant to, uh, to replicate the performance they had on day one. That's for sure, but uh, hopefully it's not the end of an era just yet. RSG and there and uh, the guys from Fake are just uh, cracking into each other, exchanging bullets. And one I was knocked away, but the uh, reset is currently ongoing. Should be fine. That is a very that's going to be a very difficult uh, house to breach, but it is very very breachable. If RSG commit to this, all they have to do is pick a position and overwhelm you know then have one player play behind once this once the crash is done and i think that would uh, get the job done because in this position they are very very open to third parties you know they're very open to third parties places are about to close up We're about to be very very decisive now afro esports and unsolid army crashing into each other and two for two immediately Shank shanks will uh, catch quiller knock him clean off as well unsolid army now down to two it's an unfortunate turn of events here. Will they be able to make something happen? Will they be able to position? Again, this thing I always say. Babalawo always alive with someone, some other person. And uh, Dago has him on the rear end. Oh, they're re okay. They're repositioning. Merstak will get that finish onto 911 and 234. And back into the lobby, they will go. Solid Army will have to choose the play zone over this engagement right now. It's not going to work out for them. I think Esports probably the only team right now that uh, on Solid Army have not been able to crack their code just yet. But it's not over. You know, there'll still be ample opportunities going into the league phases. Power play have been deliriously silent so far. It's coming out from Petardo. Now they are all making their advance deeper into the southern part of the circle. You see Gods of War making an early rotation. Fake. Now trying to deal with the guy from RSG. I believe Wana was the one that took... Uh, uh, Emma was the one that took that hit forwards. But Quilla is the one that's getting dropped away. Shanks again trying to hold up Rage with a beautiful spray. Over to the top side. Drops him immediately. Nice grenade from Shanks again. Tries to hold off. Now is an opportunity for them to breach inside from the back line. Spray. Spray is almost perfect from Wana. And now he knows his hurt. Shanks is probably going to take advantage over this. But that smoke is inch perfect. If he can keep the smokes at bay, it will get the job done. At least for the time being. Quillers back up. RSG up. Trying to circle the angles and circle the corners. I think they're trying to isolate here. You can see what they're trying to do. And it's working. Shanks has been isolated. Back into the lobby. He will go and follow suit as well. It's going to be panned by Danny Brown. Now fake on the receiving end of all of this chaos. RSG now have them by the throat metaphorically. But surely that will be wraps for fake. 
already have them in position in the line of fire in their lines of sight and the sprays are non-ending from rsg quiller now looking for a, an opening to spray as well oh it's an unfortunate turn of events here but uh two is a two versus two actually back into the vehicle and back out but that is not gonna stop the bullets rsg were dancing around when there was no music playing fake will shut that down rage will rage even further stopping it dead on arrival as rsg were prancing around playing around quilla got knocked away and there was no overwatch they will be back into the lobby crying real tears and you already know why And now we are down to 10. Afro Esports. We've got seven eliminations here. Day Esports as well, trying to recompense for something. It looks like the guys from 14th Gaming, they've been very, very quiet today. Super, super quiet, actually. There's only so much that they can do because they are going to be very, very overwhelmed here by their Esports. But Mami is going to be knocked away. And that's a nice spray to follow suit, but uh, confirmations are not going to look very uh, nice here. But uh, the confirmation will come through. But the Modu Black on the backside trying to get an angle inside. Their esports have been struggling really without Agathe. Hopefully, the struggle is about to come to an end. Mami will be confirmed back into the lobby. Buttercup has been exposed. Spotted through. Spray is perfect. Oh, very, very low. Grenade is good from Dami. And. Uh, Another one will bite the dust. Two players knocked away. Cold will follow suit. Sancho another as well will take a hit. He's very, very low on HP. All it takes is one hit. And surely he's going to be dropped. Yes, he is going to be dropped. Try to hold off. Falls just behind the ridge line. And there Esports is on one versus one. And Buttercup will be sent back into the lobby. Fortunate scenes here. Should be able to get Odumodu all the way back up. And it will become a two versus one. Pluto boy, will he go for the reset? Is all going to be a definitive measure here? But no, he's not. He knows exactly what he's trying to do here. Tries to pop through. Nice spray from the left-hand side. Gonna try the right. Surely one more touch. We'll make it happen. Can't be stopped. Switches to the M4. Beautiful finish from Dami. And there esports dare to survive even longer. Pluto boy just couldn't make it happen. Should have gone for the reset. Couldn't take Dami in a one versus one. And their esports will survive just a little bit longer. Four eliminations in the bag and a little bit of comfort with the play zone just in front. But for how long? 40 seconds till the play zone shifts again. Big deciding moment for most of these teams. But take a look at tryout squad enjoying the north all by themselves. This might be the game that makes something special happen. Cole now in the south making a rotation deep. A trucks trying to stand in their way, but they're trying to bulldoze through. Gano sprays deep as well. Connects one. And A trucks will lose yet another player. So we're left to one this time. It's going to be a, a plethora of bullets flying in that general direction, but they can't seem to find the last player that's trying to be subversive in all of these engagements there will be time as well to to reposition and rethink their choices because this guy can be a thorn in their side going forwards there's going to be a a hosting mechanism <laughs> for the uh the turnpike <laughs> and there will be uh, a lot of prayers being answered tonight especially mine if tryout squad can at least get a chicken dinner here but it's going to be so hard because from the west it's afro esports and they will probably they're probably going to make a rotation or make a play for the north they are prone to making moves just like that so they will have to be very careful or tryout squad have a very powerful position and afro esports will probably want to take it from them you have to be very careful play zone has shifted a little bit towards the northern side 
out of this position for trial score, so we'll have to make a move relatively very quickly. Is that an AWM? Did someone just shoot an AWM? It's an M24 from Federal. The rotation right now will be, uh, it's going to be super hectic. Has uh, his sights on the wrong areas, that's for sure. The shots continue to ring out. It's foul play now against the guys from from Africa. Oh, what a grenade that was! That was almost inch perfect over to the side. Is Afro Esports now trying to breach against the guys from foul play? It's going to be a hard breach for Afro Esports, except the grenade shatters things here. Or the guy from a, or it's a light from Cole that uh, comes from behind and is going to constitute a nuisance. But well, other than that, I think he has made a rotation around and found a way inside. Afro Esports looking for a way to breach foul play here. But they have them by the edge. They're not going to let this one slide. A little bit of a. The resources will be required from Afro Esports if they are trying to break into this position. Here comes Rumsey. He can hear the footsteps um, emerging towards his general direction. Merstack now trying to breach through as well. Grenade over the top. Beautiful grenade to follow suit. But it did not do the job. It did not cause any damage towards Af Afro Esports. It's a three versus four. Foul play cannot afford to lose this. They have to be able to stop Afro Esports in their tracks. But they keep... They still keep making the advance backwards. They are allowing Afro Esports to push up into the zone. And now the DBS, you can hear it ringing out. A little bit of a spray from Rumsey into the smoke, but he can't seem to get any hit markers. He knows what time it is. He's exposed in there. He's trying to try something special. Try out squad. Just pulling up to the scene. I believe they, are, they can hear all of this going on, but they found a, a little dip for themselves. I think, what is this guy doing? Man? What is he doing? What is going on? Why? Why is he doing that? Okay, I think they have, uh, they are looking for a little bit of high ground to cause a little bit of chaos. Here comes Arrow playing with that grenade. Beautiful DBS shot. Three down for foul play now. DBS again, DBS again, straight to the head from Aeroplane. And somehow Afro Esports still breach. They still teach. 12 eliminations. And that will be wraps for foul play. They still couldn't hold that position, even as a four-man team. I guess a three-man Afro Esports. That should tell you a story. McCall will not let this one slide away either. Cool. Light. Top five. Gods of War. Once again in the top five. The highest. The team with the highest survival capabilities so far. They did get a chicken dinner just now. Can they do it again? Opportunities lurking. They have four players up. They are the only team with four players up. Will that yield something? Dare Esports also alive. Got four eliminations. Afro Esports set their sights onto the guys from tryout squad. Dakuda surely was uh, discovered immediately there. And now they've set their sights. The smoke's already coming out. They can't seem to hold off the angles. And Afro Esports will be blessed with that play zone. Surely they'll have to hop into the vehicle and make the advance inside. But I don't think that uh, it's going to amount to much of anything here. Dakuda will be taking the hit and he's going to be fought forced away immediately knocked straight out of his vehicle it's all left to federal now taking serious play zone damage he's probably gonna be spotted will he make it in time he does just in time wow wow and that grenade is perfect from meristak on onto the head of federal back into the lobby he will go as well
And now Meristak again sprays, connects to one of the guys from Gods of War. But this time they will fight back. The first team to fight back successfully to return a blow to Afro Esports for the first time. And now Afro Esports will be in trouble. Fierce trying to hold off, but he's on fire and literally. The Molotov cocktail is perfect. Uh, seeing Jim through into the corner. He's running around like a headless chicken. And somehow he manages to scave all those bullets. Now pops a grenade over to the soft side just to shield his angles and his position. You can take a look. You can see Dago just underneath. Yeah. We'll watching the positions there. Esports also looking for an angle inside of the circle. He will have to move. Very soon. Afro Esports now. Verging forward. Better stack. Sprays down. Catches one. Knocks another one clean off. Afro Esports tearing one after the other. Dropping the bodies. Fierce is in the smoke. He's making an advance. He's making a play. Trying his absolute best to hold on. Molotov cocktail is good. Drops through. But here comes Light. He's going to be dropped as well. From the backside, the angle force, don't blink, can't blink at all. He's dropped. Fierce had no idea that Dago was there. Drops him immediately. Afro Esports dropping yet another player. Gods of War stopped dead in their tracks. Back into the lobby they go. Down to the top three. Down me, discovered. Sent back into the lobby relatively very shortly. Odumodu Black now, looking for an opening. Will steal that one away with the M249. Hops back, tries to hop, hop back inside. But couldn't make it in time. Afro Esports just tearing through and tearing away every single op in their general direction. Just take a look at the spread. Now they're looking for that opportunity to seal this over. 15 elimination. Now they're down to 19. We're about to see another masterclass from Afro Esports. 20 is all over just yet. Another one's about to bite the dust. Merstak is looking for that opening to surge as well. Now is an opportunity. But if I was there, Esports, I would deny the points. But it looks like a 22 bomb is about to drop on his head and it's not Hiroshima it's not Nagasaki it's a bomb from Afro Esports up to the side tries to pop through you can hear the angles there over to the top side DBS in hand Merstak wants all the smoke connects the shots and that will wrap the deed the chicken dinner will follow suit Afro Esports with 22 eliminations RSG thought they did it but Afro Esports said hold my liquor hold my liquor 22 eliminations and a chicken dinner to boot dare esports in second place with four paul in third place with four as well guards of war in fourth place with one tryout squad in fifth place foul play in first place foul, foul play foul play in the sixth place with one seven loss in seventh place with five aatrox in eighth place with four Fake in 9th place with 4, 14th in 10th place with 2, on Solid Army in 11th place, RSG in 12th place with 5, Dream Team in 13th place, African Legends in 14th place, 4 portions, 15th place in 16th place with 1 elimination, Harsh Esports. Wow. <laughs> 20 we saw 20 20 we saw 20 afro esports said let me tell you something brother let me tell you something brother you thought you were cookie take a get a load of this guy <laughs> that was the energy i got from afro esports get a load of this guy rsg thought they were cooking but afro esports were Deep frying. Deep frying the ops. 22 eliminations, man. How many people are even in the lobby, man? For 22 eliminations. It's not even the league stage, is it, man? Although I don't think anybody's going to do this in the league stages. That's, is, that's very, very unlikely. It is too unlikely that this is going to happen in the league stages. But I'm enjoying it now that I'm seeing it, though. Can't be mad. Can't even be mad. But ladies and gentlemen, that is work of art from Afro Esports, but it's not over just yet. We've got one more map left for you. It is going to be Arangel, and we're about to see, are we about to see another masterclass performance 
We're about to find out. Stay tuned. Don't touch that down. Like, share, subscribe. And stay on course. Because we're about to, I believe Iranjo has something special. <music>
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. It is a final match of day five. Tomorrow will be the last. Tomorrow is the last day of the playoffs, so you already know. I got got to get that strap on us. But ladies and gentlemen, showtime. What uh, 16 teams in here with 59 bodies in the cut. And we are about to find out who will master around you. Who will get? Uh, we just saw a master class 22 elimination from a three-man Afro esports team. That should tell you how the playoffs has been going today but it's not over just yet we're about to tune in to Ranjo final match of the night let's see what we get let's see what's cracking you know let's see what's cracking flame path is all the way from Saverni to Corey dream team should enjoy this one foul play as well hopefully they don't uh, lock horns with African legends up there in Saverni again but uh, it looks like that's not going to be the case You can see what the playing path is giving us. All right. I don't think we're going to be getting any early onset of action here. It's a little bit of a... Oh, oh, I spoke too soon. Afro African legends. Looks like they've been uh they will be cracking down on them immediately. The Hashi Sports will not be uh, letting this one slide away. Solo tries his absolute best to work through, but Nerd will catch him off guard. And African legends just can't seem to catch a break. He just cannot seem to catch a break, man. Shinigami has been knocked away there, but uh, there's only so much he can do. And Kinze goes uh, straight on his belly, and he's going to be uh, circling around as well. I think Seven Lost is also here. The slider will be sent back into the lobby, courtesy of Lunte. I'm not sure if they've heard the last player from uh, African Legends in there. Finally going to be discovered. Six eliminations for Harsh Esports. Right on the money. That is a beautiful way to start up your game, if you know what I mean. Two teams already back into the lobby. African Legends and Seven Lust. Getting easily overwhelmed by their position. Easily overwhelmed by their position. Just off uh, the south, but they are very in a very, very nice position. The only problem we're going to have to be dealing with here is, you know, utilities. It's going to be a hard, it's going to be a hard mountain to climb for them, you know, utility-wise. But that has never stopped them before, you know? Never stopped them before. Very resilient team, Harsh Esports. I think they should be out of the bottom of the leaderboard by now i think they should be out they've done just well enough to catapult themselves into the upper echelon of the leaderboard there is going to be a plethora of performances here that will change uh, the leaderboard dynamic so far. Tryout squad once again playing as a two-man. Uh, Slenching inside of uh, the zone. It looks like Federal is offline. Zani will be the last uh, hopeful for tryout squad. I'm still rooting for this, guys. Hopefully, they will find their confidence. They will find a way to make something happen for themselves. But they are going to be enjoying Pachinki. All by the lonesome for the time being. Play zone has uh, still has a couple minutes before it starts to make its move. And Gods of War will be making their rotation from Zaki. They are in the northwestern region of the circle. 
as well. Not too far away for them to make a little bit of a sh dramatic shift. But Afro Esports will be uh, playing nice. They go Merstack and the uh, plane. There's a. Uh... Oh, on Solidami and their Esports. It looks like. Uh, they will be running into each other, smack dab in the middle of the zone. Babalao will be the first one to go and the curse is broken. Babalao is finally eliminated first for Ansolidami. Okay, Ansolidami were not cooking today, man. You know, I think they had like two matches where they got no eliminations. You know, so I think everyone is starting to understand their pattern right now. Two, three, four with a nice spray over to the side. And that's another opportunity again to deal with that angle there. But uh, Dami... Has, ha has his work cut out for him there, that's for sure. He's going to take the push. They might be overwhelmed. Ooh, Mami was on the backside to make that one happen. There, Esports with a beautiful switch weapons, bro. And he switched weapons. Imagine getting switched on. And into the water he goes. Unsolid Army, absolutely baptized by Dare Esports. You saw it here first. He got switched on. Weapon switched on. They got the first knock onto their esports, but they couldn't do anything about it. I think, you know, confidence was low today for Unsolid Army. They could have done so much better here. After that first knock, there was no need to bait and switch. There was no need for that this guy to drive right here and lose HP. Come on. It was a, a whole lot of amateur stuff was going on there, man. So much amateur stuff, man. Solid Army will be uh, escorting themselves back into the lobby. And I think that third place that they had today, yeah, that's that's a, that's a wrap. That's wraps. That's wraps for that one, for sure. And uh, I went down to 13 teams. <laughs> Phase 1, 13 teams. <sighs> yeah. We're not going to be seeing this in the league stages. I'm very certain. I am very sure. The leagues, the league stage is going to be so different because of the format, because of the teams that will not be seeing themselves, you know, in every single game, every single time. You know, there's going to, always going to be a change in every single match. So you can't play the same way every time. You know, that's what makes the league so special, you know. First Super Weekend of the Nigerian Pro League is coming up soon. 10, I believe, 12 days from now gonna have the first super weekend and it looks like dream team will be getting their backs blown to smithereens here by court by harsh esports again harsh up to seven now i see the victor this time dream team the victim and they are getting caught out on his spread it's any way sending to gather some intel lante might be knocked away there but unfortunately he was able to scramble out of danger and it was Zero that pulled up to the scene just to cause a little bit of chaos there. But uh, couldn't do too much from that position, unfortunately. And Harsh Esports. They've been very, very shy of a chicken dinner. But they have been, you know, was best. That's what I'll call them, was best. Oh, here we go. Dream Team now taking the advance to them. They want all the smoke. Zero now looking for an opportunity to send through. And this is why I called Harsh Esports was best because you will always cook them if it is time to take the fight to them they they are not really strong you know when they don't get a chance to play tactically or when they don't ambush you know that's why i call them was best because they are the worst best team because <laughs> i knew that dream team were gonna cook them if they took this fight to them and that's exactly what happened there dream team had have some you know significantly more experience you know, but you got to respect our Esports still. They got some major numbers in there, some major points along, you know, along the way. So you got to respect that one. That's a nice, nice display. Very nice display from Dream Team. You know, you know they, one of their players got taken away and they still made the push. They still made it happen. You know, that's what we love to see. Foul play now. And uh, Afro Esports.
Looks like it's showtime for them because Crusader has got knocked away. Meristack wants to wants to make the advance into that position. And it looks like uh, he's gonna make something wrap this he's gonna wrap this up for sure. Mer Merstack is uh looking for that finish. Just take a look at how comfortable he is. You know, this kind of comfort is is crazy work. You know, look at how Merstack is driving so comfortably without fear of anything happening to him. Dago is now gonna do the same. To Rumsey. Rumsey takes a serious bashing to the score and his HP is going to drop immediately significantly as well. Solo circling the block to find an angle. They can't even go for the reset. They're, they, they're not even going for it. There's no way he didn't see this guy. Oh, he spun out. Oh, what a nice jump shot. But he's caught me there immediately. Solo, he's going to pay the price for that one. Immediately he's dropped. Beautiful stuff coming in from Afro Esports. Again, they do not break position. If you take a look at Afro Esports, they don't break position when it comes to staying on the offensive. Take a look. You see them in a split three, three-man position. Just take a look. You see them. They don't play out of position. You s that is it. See, this guy is gonna move all the way front, keep the rest of the team backwards, and then you know gather the rest of the intel that they need. To advance the fight even further but foul play made the right call they got out of dodge imagine crusader was never thirsted he was never flushed they just let him r just cause chaos you know in the comms for his team while he was knocked away you know he was probably saying something but nobody was trying to hear all that you know and uh, that will be the end for him foul play but uh, it's not the end for foul play at least they still got uh, two bodies to work with uh, Four portions and RSG now locking horns in the northern side, just outside of Rozok. So a little bit of a. Uh, oh, oh, actually, it's in the south. It's in the south. It's actually Gods of War that's in the north. And now RSG looking for that uh, opportunity to wrap things up, and they will be wrapping things up courtesy of Danny Brown, shutting that one away. Quilla is finally getting picked up, and. Uh, Four portions, unfortunately, will be portioned out of the lobby. Movement. Uh, it's going to be a big deciding. Uh, going to be a big decider for most of these teams. Gods of War now in the sights of afro esports so they will have to be very careful here because they are within shooting distance but knowing gods of war they, they do not necessarily love to play the terrain in Aranjo. they're probably looking for a building somewhere to call home and it looks like that's going to be the case for gravity here yep that is uh, more like it for them probably going to hang around here for a bit hang around this vicinity you know and that's going to be a little bit more ideal them but uh we'll be able to get the job done at least going forwards fake on everest dream team just below them probably gonna run into aatrox here because they will be having the same ideas. Gratuity, gratuity, all, all the characteristics of the NPL, that's for sure, because most of these teams are going to have a lot of work to do. Afro Esports again now taking the offensive formation that we already know, but Dago is going to fall immediately to the DP28. Afro Esports in trouble now. They were not able to find that corner. They were not able to find that angle. Smokes inside from Aeroplane. But he's about to be overwhelmed in the two versus. 
And he's about to sing that corner. Charging the grenade. He busts open the door. Trying to escape the danger. But he's rambling around. Afro Esports. Oh, what a grenade from Buttercup. Dare Esports. What a way to wrap this one up. One after the other, they start to fall, but it's not over just yet. Dare Esports still trying to hold on. Odrimodu Black falls away. He's going to be knocked as well. Dago still sprawled on the ground. Can't seem to get his angles just up. Here comes down me again. Beautiful touch. Beautiful touch again from Merstak. Tries to take the third. Tries to face through. A little bit of a hit. Face shot again. Tries to pop with the DBS, but he can't seem to find the angles. The numbers will just be overwhelming, and Dare Esports will be up seven eliminations, ladies and gentlemen. Now, that is how you stop Afro Esports dead in their tracks. Agathe probably very proud of uh, what her kids are doing now. Seven eliminations, you know, they're not too far away from a double digit. This is the best performance they've had since day one. You know, day one where they got that chicken dinner, started off really, really strong. You know, they've not had any performance like that since then. They've been, you know, just uh, holding it together, but uh, nothing on to it up until now. It looks like RSG might... Uh, be looking for an opening here onto the guys from Cole. Yeah, he's got the spray. Emma is going to be dropped away perfectly by Levi. And there comes Quilla trying to hold off again. Grenade over the top by Levi. And Quilla is about to take serious hits. It's a four man team. And that's a beautiful grenade. Quilla is going to try his absolute best to pop over to the side. I'll be getting four stabs. Oh, what a grenade that was from Cole. Onto his own teammate, and here comes the Calvary. RSG are not going to allow Quilla to suffer. He's going to wrap that one up immediately with the DBS. Now Emma's still knocked away, but he's going to be low. Dropped dead in his tracks as well with the shotgun over to the side. Danny Brown in the one versus one by Danny Brown. Danny Brown to the rescue once more. As Quilla can only look aw away in disbelief as he was almost cooked but they managed to survive courtesy of danny brown and here comes emma finally to the scene disrupting the reset process but uh was able to make something happen yeah we'll uh Seven for them as well. Dare Esports and RSG both on seven eliminations. And both with four players up. Could speak to the camaraderie of the teams right now. Gonna be a big uh, <laughs> a big diaspora moment. But Aatrox, I don't think Aatrox have gotten a chicken dinner as well. I think Aatrox Dream Team all devoid of chicken dinners i think they are all the they're both devoid of chicken dinners as well you know there's there's still so much to do here but you know the chi the chicken dinners will really count in you know the uh what's it called in the super weekend you know the league phases so that's gonna be very very instrumental to you know the performance of most of these teams Ooh. Ooh, Reichardt came a little bit too close there, so he will be uh, warned irre irrefutably. Gods have warned the other side as well. The survival merchants. Oh, what a spray that was from Anon. And now will they be able to take that position away from their esports? It's not looking very likely. This is around the area their esports were actually able to, you know, take a... We'll be switching to the Groza right card. We'll be taking a, a swift and decisive action. Zani falls from somewhere. I'm not sure where he falls from. Or well, he might be falling into danger. And I believe that's going to be wraps. And now Dare Esports are going to be uh, 
with eight eliminations here, courtesy of a tryout squad. And now they are the uh, the team with the highest elimination so far. Can they keep it up? This is the around the area their esports did win their first chicken dinner on day one. RSG now looking for that uh, opening into the next phase of the circle. Probably going to play off of a defensive line. But the high ground is uh, 14th gaming. I've already snatched that one away for themselves. Fierce with a nice spray. It's a uh, Aatrox there. We'll take that hit. We'll have to reposition still. RSG will play a little bit defensive here. We'll take a compound for themselves. Their esports are searching for an opening inside. They will still be hanging out south side of the play zone, still going forwards, but their esports are still have their sights set onto the guys from Aatrox, as you can tell. of war taking serious hits but they are still in the smoke oh grenade is good from aatrox and gods of war will be swept back into the lobby courtesy of wrecked as he continues to wreck the ops now we're down to seven rsg holding up quite nicely in this compound or rather in this building as uh, they look forward they look in but take a look at fake's position perfect up onto that Everest hillside and all that's left is the, for the play zone now to make a, a dangerous shift to force these teams out of here and it will as you can see Ray just tagging the position for the rest of his teammates to singe forward probably gonna tag all the way down as well for them to make a move into the zone and that's an opportunity for them to reposit to reposition and repossess the zone as well play zone has shifted very very favorably towards the guards from RSG Oh, unfortunately, Wana is uh, taking a hit. I'm not sure what happened to him. But uh looks like it was AFK or something or some miscommunication there. But he's not going to be saved, unfortunately. Fortunate scenes for RSG as they will lose one of their own. Aatrox will not be uh, letting this one slide by. Still devoid of a chicken dinner, I believe. And this might be the opportunity for them to take it. Their esports, on the other hand, have been uh, forced out. Yeah, from those uh, comfortable uh, ridge side positions that they had earlier. But uh, it's not going to stop them this might be a potential chicken dinner for their esports again their second of the playoffs now they might be driving a little bit too close they are driving a little bit too close to rsg here and they already know what the deal is but they want all the smoke here they go grenades start to come out immediately mommy pops a a molotov cocktail over to the side and the grenade is good just over to the corner there. Might hurt Danny Brown if he's not careful. But it's good. Quilla with a beautiful grenade. Two for two. Shuts it away. Dummy now. The last one left for their esports. Quilla comes outside to wrap up what is left. What a strong defensive position for RSG. And Emma will shut it out. Close it away. And now the action is about to start to brew up again. Here comes Fake. Beautiful touch again onto 14th Gaming. 
Oh, the DBS from the ground floor connects through the stairs. Will connect as well to drop him immediately. Fake on the receiving end there. Pluto boy, once again, the one to make it happen. But no, Shanks will shank him immediately with the UMP deep with the U with the 45 ACP. And now you know what time it is. RSG circling the block, looking for that opening. Rex taking hit after hit. Aatrox trying to have to the best to work through, but he's going to be run over. The rear will drive, will drive over his head. Dream team now. Will this be their chance? Or will RSG give us masterclass of today? Two chicken dinners out of four. It's an opportunity to see if that's going to happen. RSG looking stronger by the minute, but they do not have the numbers advantage still. They do have a little bit of the play zone to work with. Dream Team still trying to breach inside and steal this position away from 14 Gaming from a uh, fake, actually. And fake again with a beautiful grenade. Shanks will not let anyone breach this position. There's a position again to circle forwards ace is now here trying to make the advance even further opportunity comes but one for the play zone is going to play heavily into how this goes and that will be the end but rsg have been waiting waiting for years daddy brown runs through he tries to move on but the play zone is going to cook through shanks finally makes it in but uh unfortunate scenes for him because he's going to be hurt immediately a beautiful spray to follow suit jump shot might do the trick and that will be the end with the s12k rsg will take that chicken dinner the final chicken dinner of the night with 12 and with uh, 16 eliminations ladies and gentlemen 16 they've done 20 they've done 16 what a play from rsg Fake in second place with seven eliminations. Dream Team in third place with four. Aatrox in fourth place with twos. 14th Gaming in fifth place with two. Dare Esports in sixth place with nine, I believe. And Foul Play in seventh place. Gods of War in eighth place with one. Trial Squad in ninth place. Core in tenth place with one. Af Af Afro Esports in eleventh place with two. Four portions in twelfth place. Harsh Esports in thirteenth with seven. Solid Army in 14th, African Legends in 15th, and 7 Lost in 16th with 2. Ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of tonight's broadcast. Tomorrow is the end, the last day of the Nigerian Pro League Season 7, Amatan Split Playoffs. From there, we will advance into the league. But before that, before that, after we're done with the... Um, with the playoffs we're gonna have a little draw we're gonna do a live draw we're actually gonna do a live draw on the channel so in the live draw we're gonna you know do it a draw to see what teams will go into what groups you know before the whole process is you know behind the scenes and then everybody just comes out you just come out with a group and it is what it is but now you guys are gonna see how the groups are gonna get done and i'm going to be the one doing it you know i'm gonna draft it all up put it in a bowl or whatever you know and then we'll I'll put it in the camera so you guys will see who is going to what group so you know but before then you know big shout out to everyone who tuned on to the tuned into the stream i hope you guys enjoyed yourselves um i'm still a little sick actually but hopefully i'm getting better as the days go by but before uh, we go uh, before uh, before we close out the stream. I want to say a big shout out to 1080 Carbon Finance and every single one of you who tuned in. Big, we're nothing without the community. So big shout out to every single one of you that enjoyed yourselves tonight. So without further ado, it's your boy Priest. Big shout out to everyone. Um, I hope you guys have fun. You see me tomorrow for to wrap this up to see the 17 th teams that will be advancing into the next stages. Don't touch that down.